Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Pierre Empelé, otherwise known as Pamboy, and this is your new favorite Fashion Week program. Whether you're a hardcore fashion fan or someone who doesn't care about what they put on, this is the perfect rendezvous for you to learn a little bit more about all the actors of the fashion industry. We are in the Palais de Tokyo, the heart of Paris Fashion Week, and today I'm joined by Ibrahim Asutauri of Ibra Casting and Liana Soulier, Soulier <laughs> of Success Model. Hi. So guys, how are you? Very good. Thanks for having us. Yes. So guys, what has changed during the pandemic in terms of your job? How hard has it been or what were the challenges that you had to overcome? Probably the most difficult part was the casting part. We used to have like 100 models in one room waiting and this was not possible anymore. So we had to be very precise on the schedule of everyone. So uh, I'm happy to hear what happened to you guys as a casting director, really. Um, <laughs> For me, it was very interesting because two things were happening at the same time. In my job, let's say, I have a lot of diverse models. And I think with the pandemic, it was not only the pandemic, but it was also BLM. So I think that I was a lot called by um, maybe clients. And I think the clients were more listening to what we have to say, not necessarily just in terms of casting, but also in terms of diversity and inclusion in our industry. And because maybe also I'm, I think, one of the few black casting directors in our industry, actually. In Paris, there's not a lot, that's for sure. But in terms of the pandemic, I actually think, yeah, it opened the door to an all uh, different style of casting. I think the, the pandemic um, was a bit of a struggle, but at the same time, it brought us a new, an all new conversation, which was True. necessary, actually. And it was, it was weird because we had like different stages during the pandemics. If you think about it, like we have like the first two months where like nothing was happening. Oh Everyone God. was scared. And two months after, it was like, oh, the whole industry is like woke up and we actually like started to work like crazy and we've been working like crazy for a year. We live in, um, um, in an industry where the grass is greener, yeah. always somewhere else. And yeah, well, the grass was green in Paris, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was good for us actually, yeah. But the fact, yeah, casting wise, it was also different for us because normally what we like to do is just to send models to meet the clients, you know, yeah. so they can feel the personality and everything. So. And now we've discovered the Zoom. Zoom. Go see. <laughs> big new discovery. <laughs> Zoom, which is fun, uh, but I can't wait to be back to real meetings, like to yeah. fear people, you know. Oh, yeah, like, completely. I mean, this feels nice already oh, to be in the same room. <laughs> it feels with like people. heaven. Telling you we're going to stay all afternoon here. <laughs> uh, you guys touched on something very important, which is diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, working with models and, and talents. Did you feel that brands and your clients were very receptive to that? And did you see real changes in terms of diversity? There's two conversations here. It's like, has things changed in terms of image in clients? Yes. There are clients who would suddenly, because we can say suddenly, yeah. discover there's person of color that could actually fit their brand. But then um, there's another conversation, which is, Okay, you've discovered that, but did you discover it because you wanted to do it, because you right. had to do it? It's good to have more inclusivity, but it also has to come from the heart and has to be genuine and you have to feel it. When you do it because you have to do it, then you see it, mm. like we see it. Now the door is open, it's exactly what you said. So now that it's opened, we're gonna see, and we're talking about something so deep and so structural, but it's not in one season that it's gonna change. Right. A conversation, it's, it's for a year, five years, 10 years. I think this conversation is forever. Exactly. Really. So it's what's going to happen, I think. Yeah. It's really more about that. For us as agents, it gives us more you know, opportunity and more inspiration. Mm. You know. What have you guys learned about yourself in the past 12 months? Oh, God. As an agent or as, as an a person? Agent and as a person. We can <laughs> go there. <laughs> so as a person, I have learned to do nothing and don't feel guilty about it. Right. Like first confinement was like, and it was like, 
no, there's no email, okay, <laughs> fair enough. And I was like, mm, 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 this is very weird. So after two weeks, you're just like, kind of feels good, yeah. you know, and it's like everyone is like me, so I don't have to feel guilty about it. And then I've, I've learned that I love yoga. Oh, that's great. <laughs> great. <laughs> I learned actually about the industry. I learned that you have to be careful, that our jobs, I mean, we're very passionate um, about what we do. That's why we do it in this industry. But I learned that actually the industry can let's say, eat you. Eat you. <laughs> <laughs> and that you have to be very careful and you have to have a very balanced life. And if you don't have it, you have to look for things that make it balanced. And also that I love my job, but happiness doesn't come from only working. Right. So you have to sometimes take distances and don't be afraid of doing it. Yeah. Because sometimes we're just like, oh, we have to do that, we have to do that. If it's not me, it's going to be somewhere else. Oh, yeah. oh, but that. actually, you have to go to the rhythm that you want yeah. because there's a whole rhythm that goes super fast and you will never go to that rhythm. Mm. And if you go to that rhythm, you can lose yourself. So do what you like and have your own rhythm. I think that's the thing. You guys work with models and talent. You see faces, you see a lot of different, you know, body shapes and, and, and skin color. What makes the perfect model or the perfect talent? Oh, do you think there's a perfect talent or model? Not sure about that. There's a perfect muse. There's a perfect inspiration. Mm. There's a perfect trend. Mm for the moment, but I don't think there's a perfect beauty because this is very subjective yeah. really in the end, you know? I think the beauty comes from pretty much everywhere. You can find beauty everywhere in everyone. My job as I take it is to find muses, inspiration for artists. I, I don't look after perfect beauty. Well, but then you have Clément Chaberno, which is different. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but then, <laughs> and then you might end up on Malik Bodian. But, yeah. you know, apart from that, beauty can come from everywhere, I think. I agree. I think it's a very beautiful way of putting it, actually. Um, can you guys tell me about the funniest, craziest, or most improbable story that you've, you've experienced working in the industry? The funniest thing that happened to us is one day a guy was very, very late to go to the PT Womo. Mm. So we said, Han, you just go to the train station, you jump on the first train. Two hours after, client calls, where's the guy? I was like, <laughs> Well, it wasn't the train two hours ago, so you called the guy. I was like, where are you? Oh, I'm going to be in Napoli in 30 minutes. I was like, what do you do in Napoli when you need to go to Florence? I was like, but you said you've got to jump in the first train. So we went to the <laughs> station, jumped in the first train, which was a train for Napoli. I was like, OK. Oh, boy. <laughs> Love him. This is so funny. This is so cute. Bless them. Honestly, it's not always easy. Last question for you guys. What advice would you give to young people who want to become model agent or talent agent in the fashion industry? No, educate yourself. Now they, they're lucky enough to have internet, which right. we didn't have. Like I had to go through books. I had to actually look at magazines like, oh, the credits, well, yeah. they, oh, the, oh, there's no credits. <laughs> you know, like just educate yourself. This is the most important, like don't think that um, Google is going to give you all answers. You need to educate yourself. You need to educate your eye. You need to know who you're talking about. You need to know the references. Go to cinema, theaters, like, you know, educate yourself. That's what I would say. There are no formation that exists for no. those jobs. It's really like, oh, you know someone that introduced you to, to, to someone who works in an agency or myself, it was kind of the same experience, even if it was an internship. First of all, it's really about accessing. Understand how do, are you gonna access this industry because it's very closed, yeah. it's not so open. And also, what can you bring to it? What can I bring to this industry, to fashion, to culture, because fashion is part of the culture, yeah. obviously. It's really like, do I have something to say? Do I have something to, and I think it's really about that. For the young ones who are watching us, it's exactly what Ibrahim was saying, is like, you need to have a message. 
you need to have a message whether it's about inclusivity, diversity, or anything else, but you need to bring a message on what you can give to this industry that already has it all, really. Right, I completely agree <laughs> with both of you. Actually, this will be the last question. What's the last song you've listened to on your phone? Oh my God, I think it was um, Marshall Jefferson, uh, House Music. Love it. What about you? <laughs> and me, it was Tick by Maureen. <laughs> I love it. I think it was the morning and I need something to wake me up a little bit in the morning, especially on Mondays. <laughs> Monday of Fashion Week, like you need to have something. So yeah, it was House Music. Well, thank you guys so much for thank coming you. here thank and you. speak with us. Thank and uh, we'll be right back. Bye guys.